summertime feel was eventually going to lead to summertime thunderstorms. That's exactly what we've been seeing mainly across southern southeastern parts of Kentucky this afternoon. Some of these real heavy downpours. Boy, it has come down hard. Damaging wind gusts in a couple of the storms, and we'll take a look at all of that in a sec. Here's your Kentucky One Health weather bug camera. We are looking from the North Lexington YMCA, where in Lexington it's been a hazy, hot, and humid afternoon. But to the south and southeast, that is where we continue to see these thunderstorms. Now, no warnings, no watches in place at the moment. Strong storms, though, northern part of Leslie County, extending into the southern part of Breathitt County, western uh, Perry County, Clay County, uh, down toward Knox County. And with these, you're getting clusters of real heavy rain. The lightning has been intense. Or the last half hour, 121 lightning strikes. There's your latest one just north of the Hal Rogers Parkway there in Leslie County. Uh, we will look at these storms. They've been moving mainly just a little south of due east here. Uh, you're looking down toward Knox County at this point as well. Again, not quite the vivid lightning display that we were seeing from the storms just to the north, but still impressive nonetheless. And again, real heavy rain right now uh, from Artemis down to around Girdler and Barberville. We continue to a storm now that is in Mercer County. This one's got the lightning on an uptick over the last about 10 minutes or so. This one now crossing 127 just north of Highway 68, moving in now on the west side of Harrodsburg and then continuing to the southwestern part of the county. That's where you're seeing some real heavy rain with that particular cell as well. And again, you see the movement on this one's just about due east with a little development on the north side. So on the max track, these are summertime thunderstorms. They can rain really hard lightning producers. We had a little wind damage that came out of Laurel County around East Bernstad and a couple of small hail reports as well. Rest of the week, clouds are around. We're technically cooler, but we're still going to be warmer than normal, often on rain. The eight day, remember February? It was warmer than March was. Will May be warmer than June by the time it's all done? We're on the course right now. We are the second warmest beginning to the month of May we've ever recorded in Lexington. Yesterday was the first 90 degree day. Today was the second that broke a record from 1962, as did today. It was the earliest 90 degree day that we've recorded in Lexington since 1952. How about that for an amazing statistic? And you see all the previous early 90 degree days. Right now in Lexington, we do sit at 89 after a high today of 90. It is muggy out there as well, that 90 is a record for the day. We also had a record warm low temperature this morning. Rain cooled air across the south. We're in the 70s where the rain has not been. It's upper 80s to around 90. You see the rain going across southeastern Kentucky. More thunderstorms north of the Ohio River. The front is still a long way away from us, so we are in this pattern for a while. But what's going to happen? Waves of low pressure on the front. It's gradually sagging southward. Chance of rain around for tonight. The chance of rain comes back during the day tomorrow, but the thunderstorms tomorrow will be scattered. We'll continue then into tomorrow night and Thursday, and with that, the final wave begins to come in. That brings us the most likely coverage of rain, but it's also the end of that front, at least for the moment. Mid-60s tonight, scattered rain and thunderstorms will be around. We're at 80 tomorrow. That's cooler than today. Occasional rain and thunderstorms will be in the area. Rest of your eight day goes this way. Upper 70s for Thursday and Friday. Rain begins to decrease for us as we head toward Friday and Saturday. Lakeside Live both Friday and Saturday. LAX 18 a sponsor of that. And the rain chances on Sunday, I think, are actually going to, we made up with a dry day Sunday. Decreasing okay. rain chances as we head to the weekend. That's a good forecast. Yes. We, we work on that each and every day for you. <laughs> Personally. You All right, Bill, thank you. Yeah.